So you put down all the guys that have hair. Anyway. Nason didn't really talk at all. He probably didn't say his first word till he was close to four. At just 10 years old, Mason Patton is already making progress. Let's see. Despite living with a disorder that has no cure. He had a lot of um, tantrums, meltdowns. He was just a really hard baby and we could just tell that something wasn't right. About five years ago, Mason was diagnosed with autism. It's a developmental disability that affects thousands of children here in the state. Mason's brother Connor is among them. Things that come easy for us, you know, talking to people and knowing how to, you know, respond in a conversation and things, they don't come easy for these kids at all. It's something they have to learn. So what do you think you're going to do like on Saturday? And Mason is learning a lot through his therapy sessions. The therapy is part of an early intervention program designed to help autistic children learn basic speech and cognitive skills. You can never totally predict when a child has a diagnosis of autism, where they're really going to go. Therapists use games and puzzles to bring children out of their shell and into society. The research shows the only thing that we know for sure is that the earlier you can get these kids started in some kind of inter intervention, the better the outcome is going to be. Mason is now in school. He also plays soccer with kids his own age. It's progress that has given his family some hope for the future. I know that he would not be where he is today if we wouldn't have started early and, and done these, um, these more intense therapies.